Hi, and welcome to MLL Quick Tutorial. Over the next couple of minutes, we are going to show you how to create bibliographies in MLL and give you a quick taste of the power of MLL. MLL is a very powerful Mac word processor directed at people who are serious about their writing. It's especially suited for writing academic papers with lots of citations and bibliographies. Working with bibliographies in MLL involves using another application, a reference manager. The reference manager handles managing your references, formatting citations and bibliographies, and lets Melel do what it does best, edit and format your manuscript. Here we'll use Bookends, an excellent reference manager which works extremely well with Melel. You can also purchase Bookends in a bundle with Melel at a reduced price. Inserting a citation into Melel is simple. Find the relevant reference in Bookends and drag it over the Melel window. You can also press Command Y to insert a citation at the insertion point. The end result is the same. If you want your citation to be placed in a footnote, simply insert a footnote in Melel and then drag the citation from Bookends into the footnote in your Melel document. Citations are highlighted in the text for your editing convenience. This highlighting will not be displayed when you print or export the document to PDF. And you can also turn it off in the Show options. To create a bibliography, press the Scan button in the Bibliography palette. Bookends will pop up and ask you to pick a bibliography format. As you can see, there are many to choose from and you can also customize and add your own formats. Let's speak to Rabian and see what happens. Scanning does two things. It formats the citations in their final format, that is, the format you wish to see in print, and it also adds a bibliography at the end of the document. To choose a different format after scanning, simply unscan, and then scan again. This time, let's pick the MLA format. As you can see, the final format for the citations in the text looks different, as well as the bibliography. Now, let's add another citation to the text. The citation is shown in its non-final format and is not added to the bibliography. To correct that, click the Scan button again the citation will take its final format and the bibliography will be updated. Pressing the scan button every time you add or remove citations or make other edits in the text gets old very fast. To remedy that, you can use Live Bibliography. How do we do that? Well, we just check the Live Bibliography checkbox at the bottom of the bibliography palette and get on with our lives. As we add citations, the citations are automatically formatted to the final format, and the bibliography is updated instantly. That's it for this quick mail tutorial. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.